I am Taha, and I'm a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Sometimes, customers ask me how they can deploy a file gateway on VMware 6.5 HA cluster using vSphere Web Client. I tell them, AWS Storage Gateway Service provides customers with a prepackaged Open Virtualization Appliance, or an OVA, which can be easily deployed using a few choices. So let me show you how to do this. Step one, download the OVA file for Storage Gateway from AWS Management Console. Log into VMware vSphere Web Client, and then select the data center on the left navigation pane. Right-click it, and select Deploy OVF Template. At the pop-up window, select Local File radio button, and then choose Files. Navigate to the file AWS Storage Gateway Latest OVA, and open it. Click Next. Provide a name to the virtual machine. I've named mine FGW-Test. You can change this name later if desired. Click Next. Select the VMware cluster node or compute resources where you want this gateway to be deployed. Choose Next. This validates the compatibility of the cluster node where you'll be deploying this gateway. Review the information in the next screen and choose Next. Select the VMware shared data store where you want the VM to be stored I've got two iSCSI data stores named iSCSI and iSCSI 02 set up in this cluster. I'll select iSCSI 02 for the deployment. Click Next. Now select the network that will be assigned to this gateway. I have a default NAT set up in my environment that will be connecting to the VM network. Click Next. Review all the details on the next page. When you are ready to complete the deployment, press Finish. Monitor the status of the deployment at the bottom where you see Recent Task. The deployment can take some time, depending on your VMware hardware, resources, and environment. Step 2. Now we'll prepare the File Gateway VM for activation. Select the File Gateway-Test VM, choose Actions, and select Edit Settings. Under Virtual Hardware, expand the Memory section. For Reservation, enter the value 16 and change megabytes to gigabytes. Doing this makes sure that the minimum recommended requirements are met for the file gateway. Refer to the requirements section for the AWS Storage Gateway documentation. Confirm that the virtual machine is iSCSI Controller 0 and that it is using VMware ParaVirtual. We'll also add another hard drive on the VM for file gateway cache. As a minimum, make it 150 gigabytes. Now choose VM Options and expand VMware Tools. Here you'll select Synchronize Guest Time with Host. The rest of the settings will stay as default. Choose OK. You can now see that the reservation now shows 16 GB. Let's start the VM now. Press the Play button at the top. When the VM is started, note the IP address. Then open the AWS Management Console for Storage Gateway. This is the same screen where you initially downloaded the OVA image. Click Next. I'll select the service endpoint, endpoint type as public. Choose Next. Paste the IP address of the storage gateway, and then choose Connect to Gateway. If everything goes well, you'll automatically be transferred to the next screen to select the time zone. Because I'm based in Sydney, I'll select GMT plus 10, Eastern Australia, for my gateway. Here, I'll also provide a name to my gateway appliance. Choose Activate Gateway. Note, I added a tag, which is optional you should automatically be transferred to the next screen, which confirms with green text at the top that the gateway is now active. Step 3. Now we'll configure the network for the file gateway virtual machine. Log into the gateway using the username admin and password as password. When you see the console, enter 2 to go to the network configuration menu. We want to change the IP address 10.1.1.49, which we use to activate the gateway, to 10.1.1.212. For that, enter 3 and provide the name of the available Ethernet adapter. In my case, it is Ethernet 0 or ETH 0. Enter the static IP address 10.1.1.212, the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway 10.1.1.1, and then apply the changes. Confirm the change in IP address in the same network configuration menu by entering 1. Because we can see that there is a DNS setting automatically configured, we'll change it. Enter 6 and press Enter. 
Select the Ethernet adapter name again. In my case, it's still ETH0. And change the IP address for the DNS. I have Windows Server 2016 configured with Active Directory and DNS. This server has IP address 10.1.1.211. I'll use that IP address for DNS here. Back at the network configuration menu, I want to review the DNS configuration, type 7. After you confirm all the settings, enter X to exit the network configuration menu and restart the network services. You must restart your gateway to complete the network configuration. Restart gateway now, press yes. Back on the main menu screen, note that IP address has changed. Now let's set up the system time. Enter 5 to enter the system time management menu. Enter 3 to view NTP configurations. If the time is incorrect, you can enter 1 or view and synchronize system time. Finally, we'll check the connectivity from the file gateway to the gateway service endpoints in your region. For that, enter 3. Note that the gateway is connecting to the region endpoints where you activated the gateway. All connectivity tests should pass for the file gateway to function successfully. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.